Hi guys and welcome to Airability, your regular dose of lead therapy. And I just want to say there's going to be some links in the description that are going to give you the information about this video. So, Tom Jacobs of Elemental Target Solutions and I have had a journey. Since Christmas we've been looking at the possibilities around 3D printing bench rest stocks for air rifle 25 meter bench rest. And why did we want to do that? Well, we want to do it for several reasons. The first reason was we wanted to make a cheap alternative to get people into the sport, which we managed to do. And we have a group set up, which gives people a group on Facebook, which gives people the initial plans for a rifle. So you can work on them and move it forward yourself from then. But Tom and I have gone on over the last eight months where we've essentially gone from a piece of aluminium as you can see here with a front block on it that looks ugly all the way through to something quite special and I'm going to take you through that journey now and just talk about how we did it and this is one of the examples of the bench rest stocks that we're doing at the moment this is kind of the finished product um, for me and I'll be using one of these on the tour from now on and there, another reason we did it was you can control the weight of a 3d printed stock and make them as light and as heavy pretty much as you want and Tom and I both wanted to use the new range of big glass coming out of Falcon optical systems such as the x60i as I have here and the T50i plus they come in at you know around about a thousand grams which is more than a bench rest scope so we have designed these stocks to accommodate these and we can accommodate these huge scopes with up to 400 grams to spare if we choose to print the stock as light as we can so it's been a journey and let me let me take you on that journey now so as you saw earlier it started off with a bit of aluminium with a bit of orange plastic on the end and then round about christmas time i started off with this one now this one it's a you know essentially it's a mess but it's ergonomically there i've got the cheek piece the right height i wanted i've got a butt that fits in the bag well i used a uh, somebody's plans for a 3d printed screwdriver handle for the grip here made trigger guard and the front block as you can see here it's a bit crude but it's to all the relevant dimensions and it worked really well and we were using the principle of building sticking this over the top of aluminium u channel to give it its rigidity and strength and these stocks essentially became you know bomb proof and um we can still make them like this today but we but we've evolved and then so from this kind of like crude design with an aluminium core we went on to improve the aluminium core design now you're gonna you're gonna have to bear with me because i've got that i've got a i've got a whole wall of stuff here that i want to show you so we then went on to, to do this design which is much sleeker um and as you can see here i'm trying to get it in the camera we've got a trigger guard here with a built-in pinch post rather than a grip and this this stock here is on the chapa so this is exactly what we wanted to do with these stocks you see the aluminium core is still there and look it's all a bit more subtle the angles and everything and this stock works beautifully and there are people who are on the um, bench rest uk tour at the moment are actually using these stocks um in competition and have done very well with them this this first version of our stock and this stock as i said is available on the th airability 3d print and facebook group and the links in the description so you can actually build one of these yourself now we the whole idea of this project was to be able to get people to be able to make stocks at home uh, with this with a small amount of um equipment as possible and the use of a 3d printer so that red stock there is essentially three main pieces because that's as high as our printers at the time would print and we glue them around the u channel to give them rigidity and put a trigger guard on also inside the u channel is a um printed base that every 
rifle is different every type of rifle is different so at the moment we've done the the hft 500 and the Anschutz 9015 and we printed inserts so these rifles and the chiapa obviously and these rifles fit in so snug they fit that well it, you don't actually i wouldn't advocate it but you wouldn't need a um, mountain bolt to use it it's that snug it's as if you have bedded the rifle in with some epoxy compound so we were at the point where you know and we made a few of these stocks of the aluminium and to be honest the 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 the, the choke point with building these stocks of the aluminium was you could print your um, stock off very easily but you had to cut the holes in the aluminium in the right place cut the aluminium the right length file it mess around with it and it was messy and it was you know for some people that would be too much and to be honest it was a little too much for me so tom and i then started thinking what can we do to remove the aluminium from the equation and then make these things even easier you know with less parts so we came up with this design which is which is essentially this design here now this one here is printed out of a more exotic plastic than I would normally use and it's more heat resistant if it's in the sun, it's warp resistant, it, um, it's got a nice gloss finish. So we were exper experimenting with a plastic called um, PETG here and that worked well. This is the more standard um, PLA offering but it's the same design and as you can see for anybody who doesn't need a cheap piece we just remove that from the print. And um, this is actually, you might know that the stealth fighters in the 80s, the stealth jet fighters in the 80s, with all those angles, they were designed like that because um, the computers didn't have the power to, jo to, to design smooth radi uh, ra uh, uh, radar, um, you know, ones that didn't show up on radar in a smooth way they didn't have the computer power to do that so they ended up making it angular so this is quite angular for the same reason i haven't got the brain or the design power to do it smooth but it works beautifully and as you can see on the print you can adjust butt heights length you can see that's where the trigger comes out you can see that's where the mountain bolt you can see that we've custom fitted it for the tube and this is for anschutz 9015 now we as you've noticed there no aluminium core and this was one of our big breakthroughs we then went on to um use carbon rods so what we've done is inside the design we've left a long thin 10 millimeter wide void all the way up the the stock and we've put two carbon rods in and glued them into place as we glued the three pieces of the stock together now that is incredibly strong you know it doesn't flex at all and you wouldn't believe um how good these plastic stocks came out with regards to rigidity and strength now we met our goal we met our goal we now have stable bench rest rifles in light rifle and um, 25 meter air rifle class for bench rest um, the beautiful we've made the we put the tank the air cylinders nice and low to give it like like you know sports car low center of gravity so it doesn't wobble as much we've really gone to town and designed these things how we always wanted a bench rest rifle and we've hit the nail on the head we've incorporated these big scopes we could even get a big scope on and one of those massive barrel tuners on the end as well if that's what people want so with bench rest it's always a compromise you have a smaller scope a bigger rifle a bigger rifle a smaller scope you know uh, you know a big scope smaller rifle you know it, it's it's all a compromise and that's the name of the game that's what makes it so wonderful but i think um, for you know probably the first time Tom and I are continuously stretching the boundaries of these 3D stocks and making them um, simpler to do. We're making them stronger. We're making them better for the shooter's experience as well. And Tom and I will both be using variants of this stock um, 
from now on on the Benchwest tour. And the great thing is with this is if you buy a five or six hundred pound stock, you're kind of stuck with the design um, because that's how it was made. And these stocks are beautiful that you get made in laminate, you know, from people like Tommy and, and things like that. But this, if we grow to dislike a feature, we change it in the plan, you know, the, the file on the, on, the, on, the, on the computer and print another one out with that change. And we can basically, due to rapid prototyping, about every two days we can have a new version of a stock. And over eight months designing this on and off, between Tom and I, I bet we've had 20 or 30 variants of the stock or parts of the stock that we've printed off to see if it works. So it's been a fantastic journey. As you can see, I'm really excited about it and I've loved, loved, loved every minute of it. And I hope these photos coming up on the side have shown you the, um, you know, the experiences I've had and how it's worked out. But I'm going to leave you with this, right? You know, it's like kind of, we nicknamed it Project Falcon because we're trying to get these big Falcon scopes on, on the guns, which I said we succeeded. But I'm going to leave you with something really special. So Tom, um, you know, he does this for a business and he's got better gear than me. And, you know, he's, um, you know, he, he's, he knows his stuff. He's printed me one out with um, Pet G plastic, which is this exotic um, plastic with better qualities than what the normal stuff we would use, PLA. But the plastic Tom's use is in, infused with carbon fiber. So it's like flock. You can't see it, but it's like flock mixed in with the carbon fiber filament, which gives it fantastic strength. And it also gives it a fantastic um, print quality. It looks like some sort of powder coated baked product when it when it's printed and the strength you know is pretty much off the scale even better than these things so we've incorporated this design with tom's carbon um filament and carbon inf infused filament and or is it infused anyway filament to make this super strong stock with carbon rods going all the way front to back and i'm going to Normally, I start off with a, let's do the walk around. I think what I'm going to do now is leave you with the walk around. And all I can say is, um, this is absolute perfection. Before I go, remember lots of links in the um, description, things like the printers we use, etc, etc, the 3D printing group and stuff. So knock yourself out and if you've got any questions, I don't tend to answer them in the YouTube um, comments because we do most of our business in the Airability Facebook group. So pop over to Facebook, join the Airability Facebook. Uh, make sure you tick the box saying that you're going to behave when you're in there and welcome to the community and we'll see if we can help you. Um, I will also say if you're not a 3D printer yourself, Tom Jacobs and Elemental Target Solutions are making these products um, for you to buy. So get in touch with them and have a talk to them if you want a custom 3D printed stock making for your gun. Until then, whether you're building it with a 3D printer or you're out in the field shooting, get out there and live that airgun dream and take care. Bye-bye.